and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders. Alright, before I do anything, I do want to head to bed. Because, yeah, the ghosts are starting to come out, and I do not want to have to deal with them while I'm gathering materials. Alright, so anyways, we have some quests we need to do around town, uh, before we can actually go rescue Barbella. First things first. Interesting imagery, Maxi. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is make an armor sign, and I think we need two sets of ornamental swords. So I'll have to get those built. Uh, what else? And I think I need to make a stake for you. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is grab some materials. Uh, what do I need for the armor sign? Magic die. Do I have what I need for magic die yet? Nope. I need to go kill some slimes. Okay. And then for this I need a heroin stake. Uh, I know where I can get those. There are purple rabbits on the other side of the fortress that I can kill for those. So I'm gonna go see if I can find some. Also, yeah, I'm just gonna put a few things away for now. Also, I want to make a colossal coffer before I go out uh, for the next quest. But I'll worry about that later. Because right now I'm still waiting for the trees to finish growing. Oh, and I also want to make some iron equipment before I go. I'll do that when I get back. Right now, iron equipment is a bit of overkill for uh, these monsters. Alright, that's enough slime goo. I just need to find some blue ones now. Uh, where do the blue ones spawn again? Oh wait, here are some blue ones. I just need two. And yeah, right now I'm also looking for a purple rabbit monster. A purple hare. Because I believe those are the ones we're looking for that drops the steaks we want. The other ones just drop like medicinal herbs. And just normal meat. Oh, there's one. Perfect. I'm also going to need to grab some dirt at some point. I'm starting to run low on dirt, surprisingly. There we go. Alright, got everything I need. Let's head back. Yeah, you know what? I'll farm for dirt later. It's not like it's hard to find. Eventually, I do want to finish up the upper level of the town, though. I want to, like, encompass the entire town and, like, surround it. Make it look really cool from the outside. I kind of want to also make it kind of forested up there. Make it look like a floating forest. All green and nice up, up top and underneath is like, just really dark. It'll be like a two-layer town. Kind of like a cake. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think we need to wait one more day before the trees are finished growing properly. For now, though, I think I have everything I need to make the steak. Yep, I can make a searing steak. Alright, let's make sure we don't accidentally eat it. I've done that before. But yep, Burley, here's your steak. And the steak is gone. Also, yeah, Burley's not exactly the best vegetarian out there. In fact, at this point, I kinda doubt he's a vegetarian ever. Barbella's apparently a vegetarian, though. Alright. So that quest is done. Now all we need to do is improve the baths a bit. So we need a uh, magic dye first off. Alright, let's make an armor sign and then two... I think it's... I believe it's two ornamental swords. There we go. And then an armor sign. And then while I'm here, let's also make some new equipment. So let me see. I'm gonna make an iron broadsword. A sledgehammer. And then iron armor, and then an iron shield. I think after this I should have enough materials to, uh, what is it? To make a colossal coffer. If not, I can just go grab them real quick. It's not like it's hard to find. I am gonna go to sleep real quick, though. Because I want those trees to grow one more stage before I start cutting them down. Oh, I accidentally slept in the bedroom. That's not where I sleep. I sleep in the kitchen. Oh, did the sapling fall? I think the sapling fell down. 
And I think one of the uh, wood blocks fell down too. Anyways, I can make wood now. Oh yeah, I'm missing a piece of... No, I'm not missing, I'm missing a piece of wood. I'm missing a sapling though. There it is. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna make the upper level kind of foresty looking. It'll make it look nice, like with like little trees in between all the buildings. For now though, I'm just gonna plant these here, just so I have a good supply of wood. But yeah, let's start building. I'm just gonna slowly finish up the walls up here. Or not the walls, the uh, upper level. It's gonna be a bit of a slow process, but over time it'll be finished. I really wish you could move water above, like, right above bedrock, though. Apparently they're fixing that in the sequel. Where you can, like, have water at higher elevations. Alright, that looks good for now. Oh, before I forget, let's also actually equip the new equipment we got. Actually, I want to keep that hammer on. There we go. Alright, so let me see. Equipment has been upgraded. I built everything I needed to. Oh, there is one thing I need to do. I need to actually build that colossal coffer I've been wanting. Making a couple more healing items. Alright, converting all this into wood. And then, there we go. Alright, now we don't have to worry about inventory space anymore. Which is fine with me, because that's the most annoying part of this uh, beginning of every chapter. Alright, perfect. Let's get these down to the uh, bathhouse. Because apparently this makes them, what, more encouraged? I don't know, I think the dragon bones in the bath does that just well enough. I mean... Bathing with dragon bones, that's gotta make you tougher. Or dragon soup. Actually, yeah, I think we're accidentally making dragon broth in there with the bones and the hot water. Alright, let's go. Everyone's ready. Time to head out. I have my equipment. We are under attack, apparently. Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to deal with an attack before we can actually head out. Let's do this. Alright, you just do you, Glutamus. We'll deal with this. Alright, so what we have to deal with this time... Oh, got some night errands. Yeah, I think all the monsters will be coming from the west this time. This is one chapter where they can actually come from multiple directions. So it's a good idea just to stay flexible. Stop backing away from me! This is why I hate wizards. They have the ultimate defensive technique, slowly backing away. Honestly, it just kind of goes back to that really short attack range that we have. Like, as long as they just keep moving, we can't really do much about them. Anyways, let's just deal with these night errands before they get into town. I don't think they can break through Brick. I hope they can't break through Brick. He's gonna break the stairs. No, you don't. Get, get away. My stairs. Oh, no, no. Uh, I'll have to fix that. Here, you know what? While my people are fighting, I'm just gonna fix this up real quick. It's fine. They can deal with whatever's coming. There we go. All better. See, they're fine. They're just fighting the boss by themselves. Okay, I'll go help. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Stop backing away. There we go. But yeah, I believe this guy can actually break through brick, so I don't want him anywhere near my town. Also, yeah, now that we've upgraded the bath houses, uh, all my villagers have iron weapons. That includes when they come out with us. So they'll be a lot better at fighting now. Anyways, just gonna eat that. Oh, I do want to make some food, too. Oh, 
All right, let's hear it. So yeah, even though we have a sledgehammer now, we can't break through all the materials yet. We're gonna need a welder's... I almost call it a blowtorch. Welder's workbench before we can get everything. So, mission right now, sneak into the castle and grab the design documents. And by sneak, I mean charge through the front door and just kill everything in our way. Actually, I wonder if I can sneak around back now that I think about it. Huh. That might actually be an interesting way to approach this mission. Because, yeah, this is probably the most combat-intensive uh, quest in the entire game. That isn't a boss fight. Also, Glutamus is coming along for once. But you know what? No, I think I'm just going to do it the way it's intended. Charging through the front gate and just destroying everything in my way. But before we do that, though, there is a couple things I want to do. Uh, for one thing, I want to sleep real quick. So I can do this first thing in the morning. Do I need to make some more healing items? Six? Uh, that should be enough, honestly. But yeah, let's head out. We'll be taking the lead like always. So rule number one, take all- you know what, I have enough medicine. But if we die, everyone dies. Uh, yep, stick together, and then don't do anything stupid. Pretty simple stuff. Also, if anyone gets knocked out, they'll just regenerate over time. So let's just grab everyone. Alright, Burnley, you're coming. And Maxi, you're coming. Alright, everyone's with us. We have our equipment. I have a bit of food with me, so that should be fine. Alright, I think it's time to go. And I have some wings so that I can just warp back immediately once I'm done. Because the monster's castle is actually pretty massive. That being said, I do want to avoid combat until I actually get into the castle. Don't want to get distracted. And I don't want to stay out here at night too long. Or I don't want to stay in the area too long because it will eventually turn into nighttime. And fighting in the castle at night is more annoying than usual. There are already fireball flinging wizards everywhere. What? Oh crap, that's- nope. We do not want- oh crap, no, move, move, move! We do not want to deal with that yet. We can't deal with that yet. If we try to fight that, we're gonna die. I can't actually damage it and it'll probably one-shot me at this point. Considering I don't really have any good equipment. Actually, we don't even need to deal with that golem. Come on, guys. Ignore the golem. Thank you. These guys, though, we do need to deal with. But yeah, now that everyone has sledgehammers, we can just pretty much just mob enemies and win. Dancing flames, though, are still going to be an issue, because we still can't actually damage them. Which is going to be a problem. It's actually going to be kind of a massive problem, to be honest. Go away, you stupid dancing flame! I'm trying to deal with this thing. Did, did someone die? Nope, everyone's still up. Stop attacking the flame! Alright, time to retreat. Also, since we beat those, we can open this chest. Ooh, medicinal herbs. That's actually really handy. Also stealing these. There we go. I'm actually going to wait here for a quick second for- never mind. I was going to wait in there for a second for everyone to regenerate health, but then we were under attack again, so that's not going to happen. Anyways, the castle only wands right over there. I don't have any bricks. Well. There is probably a better way to do that, by actually building a bridge of bricks, but you know what, that's fine. Never mind, it's not fine, they're not going to come along unless, unless I build a bridge. Okay, wait there for a second, I'll be right there. Or not, that works too. Oh, yeah, fine. Let's deal with this thing. The Smudge Hammer actually does more damage against Golems, I realize. Oh, wait, no, never mind, he's coming right now. Oh, God.
Let's just move on. Okay, that didn't go nearly as well as I hoped it would, but you know what? It's fine. Alright, so, we are in the monster's castle now. It's big. And there are a lot of enemies. I'm gonna have to- I don't need to get rid of them all, but I want to get rid of them all. Just to make things easier for me. Uh, workbench over there if I need to- What are you attack- Stop attacking the flames! We can't do anything about the flames! Anyways, I'm just gonna get rid of the wizards first thing. They are the most annoying monsters in the area. If I don't get rid of them now, they're just gonna be flinging fireballs at us all the time. I also don't want to go into that room quite yet. Oh, we're we still under attack by- oh, okay, there are still wizards. Come on, let's get rid of you guys. Nope, don't back away slowly. Alright, perfect. Now we're just gonna sit here for a second and let everyone regen all their health. Meanwhile, I'm gonna eat a couple of things. I might want to double back and maybe find a place to take a nap. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to heal up a bit. Alright, that's enough health. Oh, that's what was attacking us. I think he's stuck. Oh, crap, Mimic. Yep, Mimics are in this game. Am I missing a person? No, everyone's here. Mimics are here and yeah, they're still as durable as ever. Ow! I think you just cast Whack on me. I died! Yeah, I forgot that they know kind of some instant death spells. That could have gone better. I'm fine. Where are my friends? Oh, I think they're all- oh, they're all still over there. I should probably go back for them. But yeah, Mimics. Still annoying. Oh yeah, I think they're all still there. I thought they came back with you when you died, but apparently not. Fortunately, they'll get right back up once combat is over. Unfortunately, I think they died right next to the Mimic. And I'm pretty sure the Mimic has regained all its health by now. Also, I really should stop going into that area. That just spawns that monster. But yeah, Mimics. Like always, most annoying monster in the series. Also, I'm gonna build myself a bridge over the castle this time instead of running through the lava. That did not do any, me any favors. Do you have enough bricks to get across? Nope, one short. Alright, let's go find my friends. Get out of my way. I really want that chest too, because I think he actually drops a really good ring, but... Unfortunately, it involves fighting a Mimic. You know what? Here, let's deal with these guys first. Let's deal with these guys, and I think I'm just gonna go right back in there and try again. This time, I'm just gonna let my allies take care of most of the fighting, though. I'm just gonna sit back and hope to not die. No, come on, guys, fight it. There you go. Alright, guys, I believe in you. Ow. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Oh, no, no, that's right. They come with me if I try to leave. Alright, so yeah, I'm just gonna let them deal with the Mimic. I'm just gonna run around back here and try not to get hit by fireballs. Probably should have done this the first time, because I don't think they can be insta-killed. Perfect. Got myself a Wing of Awakening. Basically, I can't go to sleep now. Well, no, I can't be put to sleep. I can still sleep. Anyways, let's move on. Got a bit sidetracked there via death. There is a room over there, though, but... It has some cool furniture and a chest. You know what? Let's do it. I'm just 
gonna grab this and go. This is actually really good equipment too. It's a strength ring or attack. All right, let's go, guys. Oh man, I should have also grabbed the furniture balls in there. Oh well. Anyways, they can't actually squeeze through that gap, so we'll be fine now. Unfortunately, my allies still can. Stop fighting. Let's go. We need to find those design specs. So where am I going this time? I am going over there. I am starting to run a bit low on food, too. I still have some fruit with me, though. That should be enough for the rest of the mission. But yeah, here's what I'm thinking, actually. What if we just snuck around on top of the walls? Maybe next time I'm in this area, I'm just going to sneak in. I'm not sure how effective it will be, but... Oops, I accidentally one-shot that. I'm not sure how effective it will be, but we can give it a try. But yeah, this ring of attack is actually really good. It makes things die faster. And the faster things die, the less chance we have of dying. I'm kind of surprised this wasn't the one that was in the Mimic. Oh well. Anyways, quest marker is telling me to come here. I came here to steal things and take someone. Ah, well, that's actually a pretty decent reason, but we kind of need her along. But yep, found her. But yeah, unfortunately we can't break through these with a hammer. We need high explosives. Cause yeah, no, even with the sledgehammer we can't break through these. Alright, let's go find the schematics for our freaking cannon. Build a cannon and then just blow it up. So let me see, I think we're going toward... We're going over there actually. Wrong way. But yeah, I'm just going to ignore these enemies for now. Come along, fellas. No need to fight. Okay, fine. We'll get rid of this guy. He's in our way. And yeah, we'll get rid of this guy too. Are they still chasing me? I don't think... I think they stopped. But yeah, we need to fight a troll. Although, first priority is, like always, get rid of wizards. My allies will take care of the troll, I'll get rid of the wizards. There we go. And then I'm just gonna slash at his butt until he stops fighting. There we go. Pretty easy. Although I think half my team almost died. Oh, what'd he drop? Well, I got the design documents, but that's not what I wanted. What? Actually, no, that is what I want. What am I talking about? What is that? Portrait of a lady. Why was the troll carrying a portrait of a lady? You know what? Doesn't matter. Stealing these. Is there anything else I can grab here? All this stuff, mine. Can't break the floor. No, I still can't break the floor, unfortunately. Oh well. Anyways, we have what we needed. Let's head back home. Now we just need to make a cannon and then just blow through those bars. Alright, let's turn to this quest and then just get the schematics we need. Oh, hi, Burnley. Uh, we were just there, so no. Here you go. Just curious, Kulavis, can you read? Nope, you can't read. Alright, let's build the workbench and then get a cannon built, but I think I'll do that next time. I think I have the material- actually wait, let me just double check if I have the materials for a workbench yet. If I do, I can just build it right away. Oh wait, one second, god quest.
Yes, I do. It's called a cannon. Oh, we're probably gonna need, oh we're probably gonna need wood from like the frame. Well, we have trees growing up top, so that shouldn't be a problem. Artillery for hurling large metal missiles. Alright, so we need to build a cannon. First, we need to build the actual workshop, though. I think I have the materials. Please tell me I have them. No, oh, what am I missing? Oh, I need lava. Well then, I guess next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders, we're gonna go harvest lava. This seems like a good idea. So, till then.